Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the uh, Kirby's All-Star Legend. This time, playing another one of the Game Boy games. Kirby's Pinball Land. Um, it's quite the interesting little game. Um, obviously, Kirby has a pinball game. There's really not much to elaborate on that. But um, there are three different tables, and then you fight King DDD. Um, what this is a this is a track mode, by the way. Um, I am going to be at least showing off all three tables, but I do not guarantee finishing the game because this is one that I have not played in a very long time. So. Mmm, me actually finishing this is unlikely at best. But let's give it a try. I should at least be able to show off at least one boss. And let's start with Poppy Brothers. Each table has three segments plus the boss segment. The first goal of any table is to get up to the top segment and stay there. In this case we want to get the left Kirby to spit out a um, octopus dude so that it'll throw us up to the top table. Or we could just end up in the, bo the bottom table like a dunce. Here in the bottom table, we hit Frosty six times. There we go. Nice little protection there. No! Ah! No. That went badly. But you saw what I was trying to do was, um to get Frosty to throw me up to the second table. Here again at the third table, we need to get all of these chicks to hatch. Or once again just fall off, because I'm bad at this game. Getting a warp star on the first or second table will result in getting into one of these bonus games. this soccer one to try to make it as many scores as we can. For every two scores that we make we will get um, either a multiplier or a um, bonus increase. And then when time runs out, the paddles turn off. And we end up on the um, table above it. Oh really? Are you serious now? See this is part of the reason why I'm not guaranteeing finishing this game. It does things like that. And I also don't have the timing to, to launch back up like that. You can launch back up if you have good timing. If you have really good timing, you can, you can launch back up unlimited times. If you have really bad timing, oh my goodness, really? If you have really bad timing, you'll end up on the bottom table or just not getting launched back onto the field, resulting in loss of life. No, upward. Frosty. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh boy. I didn't realize how rusty I actually was at this game. Thank <laughs> you. 
area. Okay. While there is something in the plate, uh, Kirby cannot spit anything else out. So if what ends up being on the plate is a Gordo, it has to be swallowed up, which is something that Kirby can totally do in this game for some reason. that warp star, but I got up there anyway. And if any of these Poppy Brothers touch the egg that they're heading toward, it'll reset them. And of course, ending up on a lower table will reset the entire thing. Because this game is not kind. My goodness. Really? Oh my goodness! With a full... Like that was my best chance to get back up onto the field and I failed. Stop that music, I don't deserve it. We should not be proud of this uh, terrible performance. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess we're trying Poppy again. Yeah, I wouldn't blame you for doing that. Um, this game, like I said, is really not forgiving. I thought that being, you know, a million years older than when I originally played it, um, I would be somewhat better at it. If anything, I'm worse. Warp Star, please! Want the Warp Star? Yes! Canadian pinball powers, because those are totally a thing. Well, at least I'm killing it this time on the soccer field. As soon as I say that, it starts killing me. Yeah, the the score bonuses that um, that you get from the uh, mini games are kind of crazy, honestly. I don't think Manitoba is Canadian for pinball. I don't know where you're getting this information about Canada, Jason, but it's erroneous. Yeah, 
think that maximum tomato will increase our multiplier if we manage to hit it. If we manage to hit it. Or it might increase the bonus rate. I think the, um... The shock dude increases the multiplier. I don't remember the shock dude's name. I really should. No! Really like to get up there again. There we go. Game. Ah, and then I get a Gordo. I didn't get up there, but at least I got rid of the Gordo. Not that it matters, because I'm down here again. T! Why? There we go. Ah! Okay, well that worked itself out. If you manage to hit that three times, it becomes a maximum tomato, and we will be protected from draining out the middle for about 15 seconds. Oh, that's what the maximum tomato does, by the way. Any time that you find it, really. Nope. No! <sighs> yeah. Struggling noises! Really? How am I managing not to get back onto the table when the... When the return paddle is that big, I don't understand it. Okay, that's not terrible. There we go. Then watch me drain out the left side. Or the side, anyway. Okay, bonus increase. Not that it really matters in the grand scheme of things. Another bonus increase. Hit the thing! Do it! Yeah!
No! Where the points are pointless and the scores don't matter. Yeah, that's pretty much it. No! You can, as you've probably seen, nudge the table. This is never an art that I met that I've managed to um, to master in pinball games in general. And I'm pretty sure that it's like with any other pinball game. If you nudge the table too much, then you lose the ball. <laughs> Really? So yeah, having the max... Really? Having the maximum tomato to um, block the drain doesn't really mean anything. You can still lose the ball. Why am I losing there? Holy... Ah, Fergus! There we go. That's something that you can do. Hit it at just the right time and it'll warp star you up to the um, second or even third table. Okay. Okay. This is the moment. Get the warp star! No! Oh, if you don't get the warp star, you gotta do it all again! If I lose on this table again, then that's going to be hit. I'm going to move to another table. I'm going to show off all three tables, but I'm not guaranteeing anything else. How am I only getting on to the first segment of this table with an almost full return battle? Play some more mini games, I guess. By the way, if you happen to lose a ball during a mini game, you basically just lose it for like three seconds and it gets launched back up, so. There is no way to speed this up, is what I'm trying to say.
Okay, what? Now I'm just playing like an idiot. That's not helping. Honestly, I think part of the problem with this game is how floaty the ball is. I've played like dozens of computer pinball games. And... Oh, really? Well, so much for showing off that boss. Well, let's keep on going, I guess. By the way, if the ball drains in the table select screen, it just ends up in this cannon, so... Let's go to Wispy Woods. Which is like one of the few original songs in this game. There we go. So if you get all Kirby's on the slot, then Kirby will assume this position. And if you can get into the um, the slot rail one more time, then he'll shoot you up to the um, third segment. Of course, if you end up back down at the second segment, it sucks to be you. Star. There we go. Oh. I forgot about that. You get the Warp Star on the first segment, you end up back at Table Select. Well, at least that's one way of getting back to the second segment. If you hit Kirby from underneath at any point, then whatever slot segment is flashing will get respun by itself. Like that. So as you might have seen, the way to get up to the second segment from the first, other than just be lucky like that, is uh, to hit all the kaboos. Which will open up the hole in the middle. Okay, enough of the Max and Tomatoes. Appreciate it. That's not what I need. For the middle. Hit him. No. <clears throat> Why did you speed up? You jerk face. Ah. There. Except that I... Well, that works. Oh yes, getting a Maxim Tomato, Warp Star, and Kirby will result in an UFO just kind of hovering by on its own. Now then, can I get up to the third segment?
Yes! Cool! And I do not remember what I need to do to get the Warp Star here. But I think it's just the matter of hitting all the cappies. There it is! We got a boss! Only took like 25 minutes, but we got a boss. You cannot lose to the boss, but you can lose paddles that will force you back to the um, third segment. Your odds are actually pretty good to get um, all Kirby's. Really? You're taunting me with that game? Don't appreciate that. So yes, it's just a matter of hitting. <sighs> just a matter of hitting Wispy Woods in the face, I think, like eight times before he acts like a jerk and disables your paddles and you end up back on the table. At least I will have shown you a boss. I am a Kirby enthusiast, but I am not a Kirby master. Perhaps, um... Blue Balls Gamer, perhaps Jason can um, share some of his oodles of noodles with you. However, this is the internet and I'm not sure if this will be possible. There we go. I will say that the uh, the third segment for um, Krakow's table is actually kind of cool. We'll be seeing that later on. Yeah, this is not a kind game. I would not blame you for wanting to turn it off. Up we go! Third segment! We got a Warp Star. Can we get to it? Yeah! Here we go, Wispy. See you and me. <sighs> the, t uh, yeah, the paddles don't uh, stay disabled, fortunately. And if Kirby runs into one of the Gordos before it hits the paddle, it'll knock it back. Oh 
boy. That was close. Yes! No! Are you serious, game? <sighs> I had it! It was there. And I lost it. Oh, man. On the plus side, I'm pretty sure that if I get back up to the boss field, he'll already be defeated and all I have to do is collect the item that he drops. I'm not 100% certain on that. Of course, that's provided I can get back up there. And if I hit that warp star, then I don't think that's going to um, to keep my uh, my win there. Oh. Sorry if I'm not talking very much, by the way. This game takes a very large amount of concentration sometimes. I wouldn't say burn the game. I mean, the fact is, this was, this was back, this was made back in the time where, um, They basically made games more difficult than they needed to, especially if they were short. This is a very short game. It's essentially an arcade game. Oh, really? So it is meant to be difficult. I kind of don't want to hit that warp star, but I know I'm going to. Well, maybe not. Okay. Can we get back up? Artificial difficulty is the word that I was trying... Really? The word that I was trying to look for there. And there we go. Really? But yeah, this game is a big jerk, but it's still fun to, you know, pick up and play for like 20 minutes or so. I'm probably going to be playing... <clears throat> well, now nah, I probably have to beat Wispy Woods again. 
I'm probably going to be playing playing for more than just 20 minutes because I do want to show off all three tables. But if you're looking for someone to show you the final boss, you might have to look somewhere else. Oh, that was lucky. By the way, if, if it wasn't made obvious, in order to be able to get to the, um, the item at the top, one of the uh, tornado guys has to be spinning. Doesn't matter which one, but one of them has to. Get it? No! This game is such a tease. Uh, if you get the invincibility candy, I think that's a multiplier up. Saw me beating Wispy Woods. I beat him. I just didn't get the item that he dropped. Good enough for me. table. So in order to get to the um, to the third segment here you have in order to get this to the second segment from the first you hit Scarfy six times because all of them are really all of them are about hitting targets six times, or hitting six targets. You get the warp star, you hit the left ghost four times, and the right ghost four times. Are you serious? Wow, that was poor. Now you want to hit the top Scarfy. Otherwise, you'll just kind of get launched toward the bottom of the table, and that's not what you want. 
Okay, how about not doing the same thing over and over again? There we go. Now, to get to the third segment, you have to hit the rain cloud at the top um, three times, I think. Which will make it rain on Kirby. Kirby will take out an umbrella. You get on the umbrella. And... boom! Here you get to uh, fight Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright as a mini-boss. Ah! We gotta hit both three times, and um, that will reveal a Warp Star. Somewhat like this Warp Star, except that'll take us back to uh, Stage Select. Alright, let's use that to get back up to the um, second level. I mean, it works. In order, by the way, to get the bonus Warp Star on the second uh, segment, you need to hit the um, clouds on the sides a certain number of times, as well as hitting the thing that they spit out. Now, in the case of Gordo, um, it won't get destroyed, but you still need to hit it in order to um, progress the, um... The chain, I guess could say. Alright. There we go. Now we get to fight Krako. And, of course, we will start with Krako Jr., which... I don't think he does all that much other than just this. You hit him four times, I think, and you'll turn into full Krako. You'll see him stop on top of a paddle, and you'll start doing his lightning thing. If you hit Krako during that time, there we go. He'll stop, and now we get, need to get the key! Oh! I cleared a boss, guys. I got an achievement. It's only taken 44 minutes, but I got an achievement. This, by the way, unlocks this um, extra ball. If we manage to spell extra, we get an extra life. Now we got the closest to Wispy Woods last time, so let's try this. Um, but next game over that I get, that's gonna be the video. Why didn't I... well, whatever. It's... the thing is open, so... Okay. There we 
go. And back up to the top. And that got lost. Real quick. It's also possible to just keep going back to the um, the stage select screen over and over again and just farm extra lives. It's just not a very pleasant thing to do. Oh my goodness. This game is so cruel. Nope! <laughs> I think I could have nudged my way out of that. But I waited too long. So here is the um, bonus game for, um, for this table. Well, that was not a great performance, but um, pretty big um, bonus up there. So at least there's that. We also got up to the third segment for about two seconds. here with no offerings for Kirby. Okay, fine. And I got an E again. Because of course I did. At least I'm, I'm managing to not completely lose a life for a while. Thank <laughs> you. 
I remember my dad actually amassing some pretty crazy scores on this game. I'm sure... I remember... yeah, I think I remember him finishing the game at least one time. Okay, let's try not to get him. Okay, we're going to Poppy's table, I guess. Sure. Let's perish here. What was I saying? Let's perish here? I believe that's what I said. <sighs> but if I got enough points, I think we're gonna see something kinda neat about this game. Oh, you're going to weigh it, are ya? Oh, it only happens at 1 million points, okay. Oh, there we go. I don't know why that's in the game, but it's really freaking distracting and it should have showed up during the bonus sequence. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there was, like, a ROM hack version of this game whose sole purpose is to just edit out that animation. It's nifty and all, but it's really distracting. Oh, we got it. Come on, I passed right through you! And here is Poppy Brothers' uh, deal here. Hit him a few times and you end up with two of them. And if both of your paddles are disabled, well... Sucks to be you. At least I've shown it off. Would be really cool if I could show off King DDD. Spoilers, the last boss is King DDD, and you need to beat all three of the other bosses to get to him. But, um. I don't think I'm gonna get there. Oh, and if you do beat King DDD, by the way, the game just laps itself. Right, Jason? I may get another try at this. The possibility is there. But will I hit the warp star? The answer is no. Because of course it's no. Okay. I have saved the chick. However, I could not save myself, and the future refused to change. Ah. 
Use the force. Force of what? Force of will? Will of one? None of many? Force armor? There's no force armor in this game. Physics in this game are so weird. I honestly kind of wish that there would be a new Kirby Spinball Land game. There we go. And another attempt at Poppy hair. Let's see what we can make of this. might actually get this, but I only have one life left. Okay, well at least you've seen the three stage bosses, and I've beat, technically beat all three of them. The game just kind of screwed me on the last one. Ah! Ah. That's my name. It's Ah. Anyway. That's going to do it for Kirby's Pinball Land. Sorry I couldn't show off the entire game, but honestly... This is a very frustrating game. Despite that, I would still say give it a try. It's meant to be frustrating. It's meant to not be a very long game. So, that's what I gotta say. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.